ain't gonna lie, man. Both fire. Both got some similarities. But overall, both dope sneakers. Let's get into the review. episode of sneaker notes i'm your boy c notes thanks for checking me out and today we doing the jordan one spider verse two spider-man 2023 next chapter a whole bunch of names for this sneaker man and um i like the sneaker this sneaker was a must cop for me not only because i'm a jordan one head not only because i'm a sneaker head not only because i want to reveal for you guys but i'm a big marvel nerd Anything Marvel I'm into, and Spider-Man's like top five for me, number one for my son. So, of course, had to get him a pair too. This is just one of those must-haves for the, for the kids and adults that's Marvel superhero nerds. But just on first glance, I, I see a lot of Jordan 1 patina in here. I know that wasn't like a popular Jordan 1, but I see where they borrow glimpse of that. And also, the multiverse... That's what they calling it, right? Yeah, it's 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 present all through the sneaker, man. Um, priced at two hundred dollars, it is a little bit steep for a Jordan One. Jordan Ones are usually at one eighty, and um, the, what I'm upset about is that we didn't get a full on Spider Man box. Came in a regular box, so the extra two hundred dollars is still puzzling to me. But I, I kind of get it, man. Um, whenever Spider Man and Jordan or Nike get together, it's fire. They did try to go with Dita's. I think that was for the uh, Sony Spider-Man movie. Not a bad sneaker, guys, but it's not this, man. Um, We don't do too much talking over here at Sneaker Notes. Let's unbox it. Hit the music. Unboxing time. Yes, sir. So like I told y'all in the beginning of the video, I'm kind of bummed out, man. They could have put a spider web somewhere on, this, on the box. I don't know. Maybe Miles Morales' eyes. It's just a regular red and black, or should I say black and red, Jordan 1 box. But it reads, Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG SP. So the SP, you know, is something special going uh, let's open the lid so I can show you guys the quality control stamp. As I told y'all, 97% of your Jordan 1s is going to have that stamp there. If it's not there, it's maybe an overseas um, release, but that's usually there. Again, everything's basic, man. Regular white tissue paper. Well, let's start with the right shoe. Yes, sir. So here's a 360 view of the next chapter. Jordan 1 Multiverse Miles Morales 2023 joints. Like, again, I told y'all in the beginning, it looks like the patinas, man. It has that patina look, guys. But besides the patina look, just to start at the top, you see that the multiverse is present. I know the new movie comes out this Saturday, but the old movie, you've seen lots of these bubbles and lots of these uh, spares, these circles. That is the multiverse. That's at the top, and then it comes creeping in the middle. But then that's when the glitches look. You know the glitch look of the um, Miles Morales movie. It glitched into patent leather, back into New Buck Suede. Different color there, but both New Buck Suede. Back to regular Jordan 1 Chicago leather around the toe box. So let's talk about the toe box. If you squint your eyes, man, this looks like... The Lost and Found's toe box. I mean from top to bottom. 
Stiff leather, just like the lost and found joints. And around it has that light Chicago red look in leather. But let's get back to like the glitching look. You see how the leather turned into new buck suede, like a burgundy blood red. Then you got the black skies mixed into it. Patent leather on the top. Here, more of that Chicago look again. But your swoosh is that iridescent. I always have a problem with that word, guys. But y'all know what I mean. Where the black turns into different colors as you move it, like a rainbow effect. I like that there. No tumbleness here. But I don't think we brought this sneaker for the tumbleness. But this is some hard, tough leather. So it would not be no tumbleness in this. Let's get back to the back. I forgot to show y'all the Jordan 1 logo. There's also on that multiverse pink. Um, I don't know if y'all remember them Jordan 1s that came out. They were called like Punch, Fruit Punch or something. They were like a GS only. But I get that look there a lot there. Come around the back. There you go, that black sky look again. But this suede is soft, guys. Believe it or not, man, it's soft. But you can see the switch from the regular New Buck suede to the black sky suede, back to the New Buck suede. The inside swoosh also has that rainbow effect. Along with the top of the sock liner, you get that rainbow effect on a nice black patent leather look. As far as the tongue, I'm still getting lost and found vibes on the tongue, man, as it got like that off-white, cell-white look. I mean, the, the tongue is stiff. I've seen better tongues, but I like the color. It looks like orange-red inside. Dope Nike Air original OG logo at the top. It comes laced in your black shoelaces. Nothing special. I would think that they were like trying to rainbow out the tips, but nothing special there. I'll look and see if we got some extra shoelaces in the box. Regular Jordan shoe tree. The only reason I think this is key, the last Jordan ones we've been getting just been coming in um, paper. So the shoe tree is back. It's present in this sneaker. Just wanted to point that out. And the inside, Nike Air, Black Souls, Red Nike Air logo. This is the left shoe here. Before we look for anything special, let me show you guys the bottom because I like it, man. The bottom sports like that Hawaiian punch red look. It looks like it could be see-through, but it's not. I really like this bottom. I wish we would have more of this technology at the top. I mean, we do have a little bit of patent leather look of it here, but I wish it was more of that on this sneaker. Let me pull this shoe tree out. Yeah, we only got the black shoelaces, guys. $200. I think we should at least got one more pair of shoelaces. So, yeah, let's compare the... Uh, is my son PS? Yeah, this is the PS to the men's. The difference is, as I showed y'all, all those different glitch material looks here. You have them here also, but it's just one to two. On the men's, you got one, two, three. One, two, three. On the PS size, you just got one to two. Same look besides that overall around the whole sneaker, even the bottom. Yes, sir, man. I'm, I'm real hype about this sneaker. $200 price tag, kind of mad about. But if you really want these sneakers, it, it's not going to be a restock, guys. I remember... When it needs on the sneaker app and like saying, I got so many red and white Jordan 1s, I think I can release them. I think it's going to be a restock. These haven't restocked yet, guys. So I don't believe these will neither. Right now, they at $280, $270, depending on size or StockX and GOAT. I said, if you want this sneaker, get it now. Um, I'm not 100% sure that it's going to go super up. But remember, the movie hasn't even dropped yet. Once fans get those butts in the seats and start seeing a movie and start seeing Miles Morales wearing the sneaker, because that's one thing Marvel and Nike do. They make the character wear the sneaker in the movie. This sneaker's going to go up, guys. Fans are going to go crazy. I see it roughly $350, $400 in the next month. So $280 right now, paying $80 over retail, is a still in my opinion. Um, Get this video up to... 20 likes, man, and I doubled back with a hotter style. I got some fire for this sneaker, man. 
I'm your boy Sneaker Notes. Thanks for watching. Spider-Man, y'all. Everybody, get rich.